So now that Moose has finished cloning into our folder, we can go back to PyCharm and set up our project. One thing to keep in mind, we are going to make full uh, changes to our mission scripting file, and that file exists in your DCS install folder. Uh, for some people, including me, um, the default uh, user doesn't have the right privileges in that folder. And for that reason, I'm going to start PyCharm as an administrator. Uh, so from the start menu, find uh, PyCharm, click on the little arrow down here, and then run as administrators. So uh, from this window, let's click on open and then find the folder that we just created. So the DCS scripting folder. So on the left hand side, there's our project structure. If you get a pop up about Microsoft Defender, just click automatically to uh, make sure that that's configured the way it should be. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach the scripts folder inside of our DCS install folder to our project here. In order to do that, we'll go up to file, um, either attach project, or if you uh, don't have that, just open it. I'm gonna go to attach project and then find where that folder is. So in uh, on my D drive, program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS world, open beta, there's a scripts folder select that and click OK. And now we have the scripts folder here and inside the scripts folder is our uh, mission scripting file that we're going to need to change. Um, we actually don't want to sanitize these modules. So we're just going to comment out this entire block by holding down uh, control and forward slash that will comment these out. And now we're going to make a couple of global variables. The reason why we do it in this file is this file actually gets uh, loaded before the mission actually starts loading. So that way we can make sure that um, these variables exist before any of the triggers get loaded. So the first variable we're going to make is called uh, moose dynamic loader. And we are going to point that to um, this file right here, moose dynamic loader, which is underneath in our moose repository, moose development, moose setup, moose templates. Uh, you have Moose Dynamic Loader. Hold down Control, Shift, and C to copy the entire path. And we're going to paste that in here. And then the second variable we're going to make is Moose Development Folder. And we're going to point that to um, this folder right here, Moose Development. Control, Shift, C, and paste that in. Um, I'm going to replace these backslashes with forward slashes, because that's just a little bit neater. Hit Control, R to bring up the search and replace window. Uh, backslash into forward slash replace all. There we go. Then the next thing we are going to do is um, in our Moose Dynamic Loader file, at the very bottom here, you will see that this file calls this modules file, and this modules file will then load all the Moose files. Uh, right now, you can see it's pointing to a scripts folder. The reason why it's pointing to, uh, pointing to a scripts folder is when Flight Control set this up initially back in the day, he explained that what he did was made a hard link from this folder into the uh, scripts folder of the install directory. I tried to do that for whatever reason, I couldn't get the debugging to work if I did it like this. And that's why we're going, just going to make a couple changes. So we load the moose files from this location where we're doing uh, all of our um, DCS scripting and not the actual install directory. So what we're going to need to change in our moose dynamic loader file is instead of loading this from scripts, we are going to load it from our uh, moose development folder here. So let's copy this and get rid of this, paste this in add dot dot to concatenate this part onto our moose development folder. So that's uh, one thing we need to do. And then the second thing we need to do is in this modules file, we need basically need to do the same thing. So you can see that this also points to scripts and we want that paint, uh, to point that to, uh, oh, and we want this to point to our moose development folder. Um, easiest way to do that is let's just do another search and replace. So hit control R. And we're going to search for scripts and we're going to replace that with moose development folder dot dot and let's bring in the single quote hit replace all so now all of these files will be sourced from our um, moose development folder and with that we 
should actually be able to test this in DCS now. So let's open up DCS. And I also have the DCS code injector open. Uh, it's a, an application that I wrote. I will link to it in the description of the video. You can find it here on my GitHub page. Um, there's installed instructions here on how to get it and get it up and running. So go through that so you can follow along um, using the DCS code injector. Let's make a new mission. And all we're going to have to do is add one trigger on mission start. Let's call this load moose. And this is going to execute one line of code. And that line of code is uh, do file. And the file it is going to do is our moose dynamic loader. So let's copy and paste that in here. So when the mission starts, it's just going to execute this one line of code. And if we set everything up correctly, we should, oh, we don't actually need to save this. We should be able to see um, Moose being loaded in the, in the log here. There you go. So as you can see, um, it is dynamically loading all of our Moose files from the location where we pointed our Moose development folder to, which is great. So, um, in order to test this, to see if it actually works, we should be able to run a moose command and it should execute without problems. So let's try to just echo out hello world. And there we can see that yes, indeed, it is actually working. We'll set up the debugger in the next part. Thanks for watching.